Hello beautiful soul. So this is a special interest video on gold. This has been my exploration for the past couple of months to find the most beautiful gold and I've tried a lot of things and I want to share with you like what I found, what's the most beautiful gold and this whole exploration led me towards what's the best golden marker that looks most like gold leaf. So here's a little spoiler. I know that some people don't want to watch a long video about all the different golds and their shines and their properties. So the winner of this whole exploration is the deco color oil-based paint marker and comes with different nibs. This is like a bullet type nib. This is a different one. And here's some real life artworks that I've done on a black acrylic canvas. And here you see the lines done with this marker. This is done with watercolor, a little bit of a different color here. And this is gold leaf. And here we see the lines with that marker, so it's pretty close, it blends pretty well. And here I've painted with, on metal, with this marker, created this lamp. So that's the winner, and if you're interested in the whole process, enjoy the long, nerdy, special interest video. So here we have the Molotov marker. This here, this is what I use to paint my drums. This is the first gold here. And it's a little bit greenish, not very gold. And here you see it on white. It's pretty opaque, but it's not the prettiest gold. And this has two nibs, a fine one, and a more bold one. The nibs can be replaced, so overall I've been quite happy with this, but it's not the most beautiful gold. But very low odor, and they have these refill inks, so overall this is, this is a good choice, but not the most beautiful <laughs> gold. Then next on the list is the Posca Posca marker we see here, Posca. More shiny than the Molotov. But also not, not really gold. And this comes with different nibs and different sizes. Um, no refill inks, no nibs that you can re rechange. Overall, still good, but I feel the Molotov that they last longer. So, what else do we have? Um, the editing. And this one is still. This is a new one. The other one, I don't have any more. So this is in in foil. Um, the editing is is a different. It's a different kind of pen. It's um, oil based and the other, the first two were water based. So we have a different color here, especially on the black, very reflective. So we're getting, getting gold, <laughs> more gold with this adding one, getting more shine. Then I started to do really crazy things. So this one is called Colero Pen. And here, you see it's not as opaque. But it is shiny. So what is Colero Pen? Well, you won't believe it. But I have tried to get these watercolors, metallic watercolors, into a pen. How do I do that? Add water swoosh with a brush and then fill this I fill this in, in, in here 
So I open this here. And then I filled this in here. Well, now it's pretty empty, but I filled this in here. Shake it well. Just add enough water so it's running. And then basically this is a Molotov empty marker. Twin pump marker. <laughs> and then I, I was like, can I... Can I do this in a pen? And yes, kind of, but it's not very opaque and it's, it's a little tricky. So it does work, but I'm, I wasn't super happy with the results. So, so what you see here on this sheet is like, is this is a first row and this is like a second layer. So I let this dry and did another layer on top as this is, this is just not so opaque compared to these things. Added another layer, it's more opaque, but a lot more work to do everything twice. So the Coluro pen solution, mm, no, wouldn't recommend it, <clears throat> but it was crazy. <laughs> so next is, I named this mirror foil. What is mirror foil? Here in black, where is it? Yeah especially in black, extremely shiny. This is the, the king of shine. The king of shine. I mean, look at this. This is the shiniest of all. It's more, even more shiny than leaf gold, which is, where's the leaf gold? Um, gold leaf here. Yeah. Look, it's almost like, yeah, it's mirror. mirror. See that? So what is that? So mirror effect leaves. So and here I have one unpacked one. So it's like a very shiny foil. And what you do is basically you add the size or the glue. So, you know, size, brush on, brush on size, gilding paste, something. <laughs> so that's this liquid that you, you draw your shapes or you can you also use this quickie glue and there's videos on YouTube about this, how this works. And then you, you write, doo -doo 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 -doo. you let it dry. So this is blue and it dries clear. <laughs> this one is always clear. So it's a bit hard to see. And then when it's dry, it's, it remains tacky. Then you put this on top and then you rub over it. Ideally with another sheet, you rub over it, you remove it, but it stays one sheet it does not come apart in flakes like the gold leaf and it's extremely shiny if i compare this with the gold leaf see the difference in shine the gold leaf has a has a gentle a gentle shine this is like bam explosion of shine in your face <laughs> there you see me with my phone tripod look at that so so this when when you <laughs> when you pull it off, it will just it will just leave these marks, and you can reuse it over and over. And the gold leaf, it will just you will just have gold dust everywhere, and it's quite messy. So this is not messy, but it's it's very shiny. And I, at first, I was really impressed, but then I got really tired of it. it's too shiny for me, and I actually started to to prefer the gold leaf, which is extremely thin and extremely delicate. If you breathe, it starts flying everywhere and you have these flakes and you can collect the flakes in a, in a box. And both of these things you have to keep um, airtight and away from the light. So I just have them out for demonstration purposes and then I'm gonna pack them away. So the mirror foil, yeah, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you're, what you're doing, but I find that this doesn't stick super well and and this, it's, it's hard to get fine details with this. Like an oil-based size would be better for that, and I didn't want to get into that. So still, the idea to use a pen, or, so this is basically a pen, but this way it didn't quite work out. So you see I'm doing a lot of cheats here, like adding paint in this empty marker and still call it a marker. It's technically not really what it's meant to be. The next thing, Liquitex ink. Not so shiny, and here the white one. It's it's also not opaque, and the Liquitex. Basically, what I've done is put 
put this Liquitex ink again in an empty marker and I might have added a little bit of water. I'm not, I don't remember, but it's a no, <laughs> don't do it. It's not worth it. Then we have gold leaf, real gold leaf, just as a reference. Gold leaf is incredible, absolutely beautiful, absolutely lovely. Gold leaf. The next in line is golden. Um, that again was filling golden acrylic paints in a marker and I, I couldn't find it. It's, it's, <laughs> it's been hiding somewhere. Um, but again, I had issues with the, yeah, it, it wasn't opaque enough and I had to do a second layer. Okay. So I looked, I really looked hard for this. So this is golden high flow acrylics. As you see, not so opaque. And yeah, you can fill this into empty markers, but you have to do several layers. I wouldn't really recommend that if you want a really strong, opaque gold. But Golden is it's a good quality brand. And this, this brand, it's also very low odor and very eco-friendly. And the next in line is Deco Color. And ooh, there we have a good one. Let's have a look on white. Deco color. Oh yes, here we go. Here we have a really beautiful opaque oil-based marker and it's the winner of winners. Here's just as a reference gold leaf. This is just different, um, different size, but it's the same material as gold leaf. Same as, as here. I just wanted to have them exactly side by side. So yeah, the gold leaf is more like it has more texture, has a bit more shine, but this this is quite this is quite good, isn't it? And here on white. So I completely forgot about this pen, actually. So the whole exploration was about using a pen or a marker and not having to apply stuff with a brush. And so I've seen videos with this, with the quickie glue, where you write and then it becomes tacky and then you add the gold leaf. And this is the same principle. This art metal pen is like adhesive size and remains tacky. And then you put the gold leaf or the, the mirror leaf on top. And the problem with that is that it doesn't quite stick. So here we have these areas where the gold leaf just doesn't, it doesn't want to stick to the surface. It's a bit better with the Sakura, but still you're not getting those clean edges that you're getting with the Deco Color marker. You see absolute precision that you, that you get from a pen and you do not get it with the, um, the size in pen, pen form. So these things, I'm not so impressed by them, even though some people say it's great. I prefer the real marker. And I'm just gonna just show you through the whole collection, like here, the Molotov greenishness and this one here, a bit less green. And we have Edding oil-based. All the other things are water-based. Gold leaf is the winner, but this is my favorite pen. Okay, let's have a look on black and then I'm going to show you the pen. Yeah, deco color. So, so here is this magical marker, the best marker that I found on the internet. There's also like a bullet tip, which I prefer. This is quite expensive, but it's worth it. It's oil-based, so it has a similar smell than the edding. So it's really good to use, you know, open the window or use it outdoors. Like it, it has quite some odor. If you use a lot of it, it can get quite intense as that's the case with oil-based products, but it's absolutely lovely. I'll just quickly open it. 
and yeah stinky one <laughs> closing it again so this is the the king of markers the king of applying golden color with a pen and otherwise well use real gold leaf that's my recommendation it's messy and you can't really get tiny fine details if you're using a water-based size um but gold leaf it, it's the most it's, gold leaf is the best of the best but it's very messy and you can use real gold leaf or imitation gold leaf but if you just want convenient thin lines very reliable pen the adding it has a similar color but the adding it gets clogged up it doesn't have a good flow and it doesn't have a long life and this it has a wonderful flow it has a long life it just works it's just fun i've spoken with many of my artist friends they say oh my god adding no the, the color is good but the handling no value for money no this is expensive but value for money is good so this is like five euros and this is like seven euros <laughs> it's, it's insane how expensive but this is worth its money so so thanks so much for watching this and yeah have a wonderful day and keep creating the world needs more art